let us discuss this result. See, in this result, we have a matrix space XD and we have to prove that G BN is subset of X, which is open if and only if it is union of open balls. Okay, so I have considered set G here, which is subset of X. So if and only if part is there, that means we have to assume one part, we have to prove the second part and after that we have to prove its converse part, right? So let us consider first G B N open subset of X. So let, let G subset of X. So we assume first, assume that G is open, okay, G is open. What we have to prove then, we have to prove that it is union of open balls, okay. We have assumed this set G is open. So let us follow the definition of open set. Definition of open set says, if you select any point of G, it is possible to find ball around it, which is subset of G. Okay, so let us follow the definition. So therefore, for every X belongs to G, there exist R X greater than zero, such that, such that B X R X subset of G. So maybe you, are, you will confuse what is meaning of R X. That means that radius depends on X, getting. So let me show you here. So that means if you select any point X here, then you will have ball like this, okay, which contained in G. If you have point here, then you can have a large ball, which is subset of G, right? So that means radius of that ball depends on the that point, okay? So that's why we call it as Rx. If you have point here, then definitely you can find ball around it, which is subset of G. So that means this is true for each X, for every X belongs to G. So that means for each point, it is possible to find ball, which is subset of G, getting? So therefore, what can we say? If each ball is subset of G, their union B, X, R, X, that is also a subset of G for all X belongs to G. Okay, since each ball is subset of G, so therefore union of all such balls is also subset of G. I am calling it as one, okay? So let us go further. Clearly, one thing we can write, clearly, G is equal to union of singleton X, X belongs to G. You are getting what I am doing? So we have some set G, right? It has many elements. So what we are doing, we are considering singleton element and we are taking union of all singleton elements of G, then definitely that is nothing but G, getting singleton element. So that means, for example, let me show you. Suppose we have a set A like this, okay, I will show you here. Suppose we have a set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, so like this. Then we can write A is equal to singleton 1, union singleton 2, union singleton 3, union singleton 4, union singleton 5 and union singleton 6. So same logic I am applying there, okay. So let me remove this, uh, yes. So same logic I'm applying and union of all such elements, which is equal to G. So let us go further, but see singleton X, definitely we can write this is subset of union of B X R X X belongs to G. Definitely we can write this one, getting what is meaning of that? You know that every element, okay, it's subset. That means this singleton set is subset of op open ball with center X radius R X. Since that point is the center of that ball, so definitely it is a subset of that ball. Okay, so yes, uh, G is equal to what we get? G is equal to subset of union of B, X, R, X, X belongs to G. This is 2. So let us combine 1 and 2. What can we write from 1 and 2? So you know that if A subset of B, B subset of A, then both sets are equal. So same thing we are getting. This is subset of G and G is subset of that union. So therefore, you can say G is equal to union of B, X, R, X, X belongs to G. So therefore, we can say G is a union of open balls. Okay, we are getting same. So therefore, G is a union of open balls. Okay, so in this way, we prove the first part. Now we have to prove conversely. That means we have, we will assume G is union of open balls and we have to prove that G is open. Make a screenshot of it first, then we will go further. See, conversely, we are assuming G is union of open balls. Okay, we are denoting in this way. G is equal to union of BXR. We have to prove that G is an open set. See, 
clearly one thing we can write b x r is open will you tell me the reason since we have already proved every open ball is an open set so let me mention because every open ball open ball is an open set so that's why we can write this okay so we have studied one more result arbitrary union of open set is open so therefore what can we write union of bxr is open so reason is arbitrary arbitrary union of open sets is open see each ball is an open set okay and if you take arbitrary union of such balls definitely it is open so that's why union of bxr is open but what we have union of bxr is equal to g so therefore what can we say g is open getting so we started with uh, this assumption that g is a union of open balls and finally what we proved yes g is open that means we proved in both ways if g is open then it is union of open balls and if it is union of open balls then it is open so therefore we can uh, prove this result so let me mention hence the result hence the result okay so you can make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye